there's more to a harvest than meets the eye. Farm manager Andy Crow is just about to finish cutting one of his wheat fields, but he saved the worst till last. Some of it is ripe and some isn't, which is a problem. Too much moisture in the crop could cause a fire because microbes can flourish, generating heat. These ears are necked over, so, so that's, that's right. But then you, you come down in the bottoms, you've got some of these secondary tillers coming up through. Right there, there's two there, look. What do you mean by that, Andy? These are the, the tillers that have come later on out of the plant, and as you can see, they're green. So thrash that out, I have a job to thrash it out, but the combine will thrash it out. So yeah, that's green. But you get that, if you get that, that lump like that, there's so much moisture in it, that heat up. But there's enough grain in amongst this. If you mix the two up, it'll sort itself out. At the time the combine's thrashed it all out. So what you've just done with your palms then is pretty much what a combine does. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that that go on the drying floor once that's gone through. That go. Is that floor heated or is it just? It just... can it can be heated. We had um, 150 ton of barley from the farm next door. Uh, they had some barley that was had the same trouble. They cut the barley. The barley was ready, and then they had green wheat in amongst it. Luckily, Andy has dryers powered by solar this, uh, and straw runner. to sort it out. Uh, it does all the heating for the houses. Every year we have big, big problems with, with deer, but our biggest problem this year is badgers. Up the top of the hill and some of the fields up there, it's like that little bit there. That's badgers where they just come in and pull it down. That gap there. Yeah. Um, but up the top of the hill we've got areas there, it's probably an acre acre, two acres, just in one lump, where the badgers are just coming and taking it down. But most things, you, most predators that we have problems with, vermin and that, crows, whether it's crows, pigeons, um, foxes, whatever, we can do something about it. But the, the one thing we can't do anything about is the bloody badgers. With the last of the crop in the trailer, Andy explains what sort of money he can expect from his wheat this year. I'll get in. There's about three tonne in here. If it doesn't make milling, it'll probably be worth about, at present price, about 190 a tonne. If it does make milling, uh, you can stick at least another 60 to 70 pound a tonne on top of that. But it all depends on what everyone else has got. All the reports I'm getting at the moment from other people, from other farmers, they're not getting very good, uh, good samples. All pinch stuff where it hasn't had the, the sunshine at the right time. It's had the wrong weather, so if everyone's in the same boat, we could be quids in. That's the gamble. Oh, that's farming. And I'm, I'm not a very good gambler. <laughs> Back to the farm and Andy explains how his industrial hairdryer works. The heat is generated by the burner, specifically designed to take straw bales. It's a farm 2000. Uh, has round bale straw, don't pack them too tight otherwise they burn too slow. The centres are soft so that we light the centre, the fan blows the, it's got a fan in there, the fan blows the air straight through the middle, the middle burns out, collapses and away it goes. Yeah. And that, all the water goes into, we've got two header tanks there and then we've got the pumps as well, it's running two pumps now. That's all it needs. That's all it needs. Don't need a little fire lighters. I need fire light, it's not an issue. Job. This is a drying floor, we've got the, the tunnel, the hot air or cool air comes through there, comes up through vents in the floor, can open and shut it all the way down. At the moment we're just drying a little batch at the back. The moisture meter said it was averaging between 14 and a half. Um, it did go up to a 15, there was a couple just over 15. It'd probably blend in, but what's the point of taking a chance? The electricity comes off of the uh, solar panels, so we're not paying for that. We don't pay for the heat, but this at the moment is just getting cool air. That'll dry that. So we've got two floors that we do the drying. If we fill them up to this level here, that takes 100 and, that'll take 150 tonne to there, 300 tonne up to the top. This is the sort of level I like to keep it at to dry it. It dries a lot quicker then, uh, instead of going right up. So that's why it's at that level coming back. This is the level I'll bring it back. We can put up to 300 here if we fill it up to level, but that's about as far as we go. So the fans up the back, go have a look at that. Nice and cool. The 
the fan comes, blows it down here, the air can't get out, so it's got to go somewhere, it'll go out the vents and away. Gosh, it'd be expensive if you didn't have your own sustainable. I don't know how people manage this, it's like next door, the farm next door, they're, they're struggling because they have to send it away to be dried and well there's your profit, as soon as you start sending it away to be dried, <laughs> it's a haulage away to get it dried and then the storage, so instead of storing it on farm, like we can, we, we, if we get anything that we're a bit doubtful about, we just stick it on here. It's, it's madness not to really. Sometimes, like a couple of years ago, when it was really, really hot, it was so hot the corn was, you, you, it was hot to touch. You put it in the store and it, it, it won't cool down. So what we did, we just shoved it on the floor and just blew it through the night, blew cool air through it through the night just to cool it down and just brushed it out in the morning with the JCBM, put it in the store. But it was cooled down. But if you put it in the store hot, Gives the engine, engine tears. We leave Andy as he enters the next phase of his year, planting winter rape.